Hello everyone, I understand you have finished your maths paper 3. The good news is all your maths exam is now over and in the next 4 to 5 days all your GCSE exams are going to be over. We have received emails, WhatsApp messages and phone calls regarding the paper 3 about whether it's a tough one or super easy one or decent one. In this video, we are going to talk about a brief review of the paper 3, what topics were in the paper 3 and analyze all three papers and predict the grade boundaries for GCSE 2019 Mathematics. Let's have a look. First of all, thank you so much for the subscribers and students who were actively participate in our live streaming session yesterday even though we faced lots of technical difficulties and other disturbances by end of the day we went through all the topics were in the today's paper 3 and gave our free support and service for all the students across the country at one stage we had more than 500 members actively participate in our live streaming session doing the question sharing their answer and discussing about the question we thank you and appreciate all your support towards to our good work we have received emails messages and phone calls about paper 3 and we would propose the paper 3 is the second easiest one among all three papers so the order goes as the diagram so if you can see the screen 2019 maths higher paper paper 1 is the hardest one then paper 3 and the paper 2 is the easiest one uh, among the all three you may come up Cross this one is a little bit difficult to understand you may put the paper 3 in the hardest one and you may move the paper 1 to the middle so in that case paper 3 is the hardest then paper 1 and the paper 2 is the easiest so whatever said and done this analysis is based on the majority of the comments we received and it's our opinion so we received emails and text message after the exams across the country all the subscribers kindly send us an email and messages saying that mean this came in this came in these questions came in thank you for your support yesterday you talk about triple brackets and that came in and all your comments we analyze and uh, we haven't seen the paper three yet and we are going to go through the solution in the couple of hours couple of days and uh, we will give a complete worked solution um, soon but before that one as uh, compared to the 2018 paper uh, and all your majority of the comments shows the paper one is the hardest one and the paper two is the easiest one paper three going to be in between the paper one and paper two maybe you can shift that into the hardest um, um, left hand side um, now what's on the paper 3 so that is what we are talking about right and the people who came on our live session will understand we focused on few topics didn't come on the paper 1 or 2 and uh, we focus on that one and we did some questions so what's on the GCSC paper 3 when diagram and bearing question with the cosine rule quadratic simultaneous equation expanding triple brackets we did mention this is going to become last night and there's a four marker question for histogram surface area of the cylinder two triangles area equal to a rectangle area and mixed with some ratio to be honest with you um, the examiner put ratio questions more than 10 or 12 questions across the all three papers 2019 GCSE maths is full of ratios question about machines and days so six machines can do a work in nine days and a few machines didn't work and find out how many days to complete the remaining work I don't know the exact question so that kind of question came in few questions with explanation so you need to rather than you work out and show your working you need to explain in a logical way some writing some wording or sentence um, explain why it's wrong and right and there was a tangent question tangent and circles and you need to find out the p-value if you remember tangent circles and all these perpendicular lines we discussed last night and previous um, videos and compound measure there's a question about speed and density it came in and identifying the error questions so two questions came in 
uh, in the paper 3 about students did a working and you need to find out the error on their working and trying to fix it or trying to comment it and uh, frequency polygons we expect that is going to become we thought like it's going to be either histogram or frequency polygon uh, but both of them in statistically like a histogram and frequency polygon uh, came on the diagram we already mentioned the venn diagram and finding the median in a frequency table uh, came on the paper three as well now look at the 2018 grade boundaries so GCSE 2018 max grade boundaries as you know the papers paper 1 paper 2 paper 3 for the higher if you start from the higher paper out of 240 202 is considered as the level 9 which is a double star 170 is the minimum marks you need to score to get an a star which is level 8 anything above 139 is considered as a level 7 right so between 109 and 138 is going to be the upper b and uh, you can see the chart now 79 is considered as the b then c is 50 35 is d and so on for the foundation paper to get in there level 5 is 169 as this grade boundaries are calculated by so many factors as there is a certain percentage of the students need to pass on a certain level across the country and also the, and also the weight of the exam papers each year compared to the previous years so compared to 2018 all the three exam papers in 2019 are not easier so the grade boundaries are going to be reflect in that respect let's look at the 2019 max grade boundaries so our suggested grade boundaries for 2019 gcse max is not going to be a specific number so the idea here is if you look at the upper boundary of each grade sections say out of all three papers if you score 204 or above for the higher papers you will secure an a double star and a big salute for those who secure this position if you achieve 172 out of all three papers then you secure an a star and etc so if you see the upper level of the our higher grade boundaries and that will definitely will secure that level so in order to get an a for higher paper you need to get 141 but having said that, if you score above 129, that means there is a chance you will score A. If you score more than 162 out of all three papers, then there is a possibility you might get an A star. And again, for the A double star, those who score more than 196 have a fingers crossed, you might get an A double star. And we also put a range of uh, grade boundaries for foundation tier as well. So this is our prediction and uh, you have to wait for the uh, complete work solution for the paper three and in couple of days and we will release the complete uh, work through of the paper three and I hope you like the video and you can play this video and pause it at the grade boundaries and analyze how many marks you got it for each paper and see whether your position I know you have couple of subjects left over until Friday or some of you having exam until Monday so concentrate on the remaining subject and work on that one and happily do the other subject as well and after Monday then you can talk about YouTube and uh, watch all the videos and predict the scores and this is a quick uh, video to show you uh, the grade boundaries and as up to the this level the once we complete the paper 3 work solution then we know the weight of the paper then we can be more accurate and I hope you like our channel if you do like our channel 
if you have any siblings and uh, those who are taking the year 10 and the mock exam and uh, a level papers and uh, upcoming videos will help them to study maths and uh, send them a link uh, to subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up for our all our good work and uh, if you have any comments please uh, give us a comment columns to discuss about these great boundaries and i wish you all the best for your future and please keep in touch and we are going to be start our a level maths uh, free resource and revision uh, after september 2019 and thank you very much for all your time good luck all the best is your child weak in mathematics do you spend much time at work and struggling to find a tutor for your children don't worry because we have an ultimate solution Smart Tutors brings you an amazing meld of mathematics coaching experience by tutors working successfully in UK for more than 12 years. Our website is an immersive learning experience that provides comprehensive, curriculum-aligned mathematics content for toddler, age 5, to teenager, age 18. Smart Tutor is a user-friendly website which enables you to download three mathematics worksheets for free. If preferred, the user can download thousands of mathematics worksheets and sample papers for the chosen age group for only £2.50 per month. Not just this, but if you wish to have private tutoring at home, if you are living in London 20 miles radius from Heathrow Airport, you can request for private tutoring by clicking the button and Tutor will contact the parent and arrange the class for your child at your own place. Smart Tutors also provides a facility to have tutoring via online tools. If you are interested, book your session now. You'll not need to wander for math tutors for your children anymore. Contact us today for a guaranteed 100% success.